Installing our power supply, open up the box, what do we have inside? We have our standard power cord, our Tomahawk 500 watt, um, sorry, our Intermax Tomahawk 500 watt power supply. You try getting some of this stuff right when you say it. Uh, you got your main power connector, your four pin uh, processor connector, sometimes labeled a P4. Um, Ironically, that's about the same time those came out was when the Pentium 4s came out. Then you have several uh, power connectors. You have lots of these little four-pin Molex connectors. They're commonly known as. Uh, they kind of have like a, I shouldn't say an oval shape, but it's the closest thing I can think of um, to the tip of it. It's kind of square with rounded corners on each side. Uh, you got your SATA connectors, usually in line with them. Those are for SATA hard drives, SATA CD drives. Um, got a whole bunch of those. Trying to untangle it. And then if you have a nice PCIe graphics card that requires a little bit more juice, this power supply has a single one of these. And of course our ever so popular floppy drive connector, which the system will not have a floppy drive. Um, in this mess is a whole bunch of those things I just already showed you, but there's only one floppy drive connector, one PCIe connector. Um, why do I go with 500 watt power supply on this? Because in the future, if he wants to go through an upgrade to a large amount of RAM, uh, having a little bit more juice would be nice to have for that. Um, or if he wanted to go through and add in a second CD drive, he can do that as well. And, uh... That's it. We're going to go ahead and take this, put it up in there. First thing we're going to do is take this bracket off. These thumb screws are real easy to just simply undo. And once this is off, uh, you will notice there are four holes on each uh, side of this. There's one right there in case you can't make it out. And those are going to match up to the four holes that are on our uh, power supply. You'll see there's one there, uh, one there, kind of towards the middle of the screen there, one at the bottom right corner, and one there. You want to go through, match that up um, with that. I uh, will note that the power supply did not come with screws. Usually the Intermax ones do. Mm, that one's stubborn. We'll have to use a screwdriver on it. Uh, fortunately, the case did come with four of the screws that are required. Uh, and I think I might have already put them back in the baggie. But uh, it's the hex headed screws, uh, kind of like this one here. I can only have a whole bunch of these sitting around uh, because I do a lot of this stuff. And they, these little hex headed machine screws are what are supposed to be the proper ones for use on the power supplies that bolt them into the bracket here. Okay, I've already gone through, threaded the cabling for the power supply through the case. Um, so basically all you have to do once you do that is just push the power supply in and pretty much it'll go into position. Um, if you notice, like in this case here, it seems to be just a little bit high um, on how these are sitting, and we have this one side sticking out. It's due to gravity. Um, best thing to do is once you get this in like this, flip the case up like this, right before the camera loses its battery power. <laughs> uh, had to stop and recharge the battery. Uh, so like I was saying, switch, flip the uh, case up and uh, you'll be able to notice that the screw holes will now be uh, more centered how they should. You don't have this uneven balance um, between the two sides that I was about to mention. So go ahead and put in your thumb screws once you get the case standing up, uh, you know, vertically. That way the uh, power supply is properly settled and you can go through and correctly uh, mount everything in here.